Hi, my name is Susan Eggers, and I would like to take this opportunity to tell you a little bit about myself and about my teaching with Excelsior classes. So for my educational background, I grew up in Charlotte, North Carolina, and I attended Wake Forest University, where I earned a bachelor's degree in history. After that, I went to the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, and I earned my master's degree in Russian history. Then I spent two years teaching history at Appalachian State University, and I taught their World Civilizations class, which is their freshman history class. And that was a wonderful experience. Um, because it has really helped me as I work with high school students who are preparing to go on to college. While I was at Appalachian State, I met and married my husband, and then we moved to Chapel Hill, where I began my PhD program in Russian history. Now, I did not complete that degree, but that's okay. That was all part of God's plan for me. But that time in graduate school and, and teaching at Appalachian State uh, taught me a couple of really important things. One is that I love teaching. I love to tell stories about the past, about uh, people and places, and I love to see how God is working in history, in the world today, and in each one of our lives. And I really enjoy sharing that with my students. Um, another thing that I learned is that I love the process of historical research and writing. It's like detective work. You track down your information, you find your sources, uh, you think about interpretations of the past, how to, how to interpret that information, and I really enjoy guiding my students as they learn those really valuable thinking skills. While I was in graduate school, I studied the Russian language so that I could read the documents that I would need to uh, do my research. And I was able to travel to Russia on two occasions. The first time I actually went to the Soviet Union because it was when uh, the country was still communist. And I studied a, um, or participated in a summer language program there. And the second time I went was after the fall of communism, so it's very interesting to see the contrast there. But the second time I went, uh, I was conducting research in the libraries and archives in Moscow and St. Petersburg. Without a doubt, one of the greatest blessings of my life is being able to homeschool my three children. I have two sons uh, who are homeschool graduates, and they are both in college both studying technical fields, which I always say is a homeschool miracle, that I, as a history major, uh, by the grace of God, uh, could prepare them uh, through their homeschooling uh, careers to go on to college and study engineering. My daughter is still at home with me, and so I am very blessed to be able to homeschool her, and I'm really enjoying that. I have taught history and geography for homeschoolers in a couple of local co-ops, and I have taught online since 2011. I have found that teaching online can be very interactive, and I try to incorporate as much participation as possible into my classes. Now, a lot of my class time is, by necessity, uh, taken up with lecture. Although that does teach students very valuable skills, such as listening and taking notes, um, but I also think it's important for me to stop and ask lots of questions. So I ask factual questions just to make sure that um, students are listening and paying attention and to see what they remember and to help assess how our learning is going. And then I also like to ask discussion based questions where students can work together and wrestle with some of the issues that we talk about in history um, and geography. Um, I think it's important to take some time and um, play review games, again, just to help us assess uh, how our learning is going. 
and uh, I want my class time to be fun and engaging for my students, but I also want the, the class to be challenging for them as well. I want to prepare them well uh, for college or for whatever the next steps uh, they take in life. Uh, as for me and my life outside of teaching, um, I really enjoy spending time with my family and I love reading. I love the beach. I really love reading on the beach. That's a bonus. Um, I have always enjoyed music and I have taught piano lessons. I have directed children's choirs and I have even composed a couple of pieces of music over the years. So that's a little bit about me. And so I hope that has answered some of your questions. But if you have further questions or you would like to contact me, you may email me at susaneggers at excelsiorclasses.com. Thanks.